So how exactly did the narcissist love bomb you through mirroring? Mirroring someone is something that anybody can do. And a lot of people have to do it for their professions. Reporters do it when they interview people. Trial lawyers do it. You've probably done it during job interviews. It's basically being agreeable with what the other person is saying, finding common interests so that you can keep the conversation moving forward and the person has a tendency to like you more because it seems like you have a lot in common. So here's a silly example. Let's say that I'm trying to talk to somebody about Star Wars and I know nothing about it. So I ask them, what's your favorite movie? They say Star Wars. I will throw out a nugget Oh wow, Star Wars. That was a huge film when it came out. Then the person starts raving about Star Wars. It was such a big film. I'm the biggest fan of Harrison Ford. Now even if I know nothing about Harrison Ford, I can still be like, Harrison Ford, he was in a lot of movies, especially around that time period. He was crushing it. So you can see how I'm making these blanket statements that don't really tell the person anything about me or my interests, but seemingly appear like I really care about what they're saying. And people who are good at mirroring can do this with conversations for hours and hours so that when you get done with the date, it's like, I can't believe we had so much in common. We had such great chemistry. Now this starts to get really sinister and straight up evil when narcissists use this to love bomb you using your vulnerabilities and traumas and everything that you've ever wanted in future faking. Oh, you want two kids? I want two kids too. What neighborhood do you want to live in? Oh, Brentwood. I've always wanted to live in Brentwood. What a coincidence. And that's when mirroring goes from maybe a negotiation or an interview tactic to a straight up manipulation because the person is trying to portray themselves as your perfect partner that has so much in common with you when that is actually not the case. So to prevent mirroring, ask the person questions about themselves that you don't answer first. Don't be giving the person a roadmap of what your answer might be and then see if it aligns with your interests, goals, and plans for the future.